Hello everyone, welcome back to Kiran's English Hub. In this video, I am going to teach you the next topic of second year SEM4 of Osmania University. And in this you have technical vocabulary. This is the third unit, that means last unit which you have. So in this vocabulary part is technical vocabulary and the grammar part is reported speech. That would be our next video. <coughs> now, let us go through these exercises. Here, technical vocabulary is nothing but the vocabulary which is professionally used. See, the vocabulary that we use in our regular lives is completely different from the vocabulary that you use in the professional life. So, see, now you are all graduating students, right? Now, when you go to certain uh, company, when you join a new job, remember you may have to use some of the terms which are related and which are confined to that particular case, to that particular company. Uh, if at all you try to use any normal language, they will just look at you up and down. Yes, do you agree me, with me? Of course, you uh, you might know it. So there are some technical vocabulary which are given. This will be very much useful for you in your uh, further life, even after completion of the examination. Now we have fillers in the first case in exercise one, and um, in exercise two also we have some of the other exercises. And in XS1, we have 15 fillers totally. And for each filler, we have two options given. We have to fill these options with a suitable option order of them too. Let us look at the first one. <clears throat> to make an informed choice is to make a dash choice. To make an informed choice is to make a dash choice. Informed choice in the sense intelligent choice. So here, which one can be used between these two? Why is neutral? To make an informed choice is to make a wise choice that is called as intelligent choice. Next second one, the company wants to assess the dash of the age, this is the income etc of their customer base. The options are democracy, another one is demographics. Democracy is nothing but the form of government which is of the people, by the people and for the people. This is not related to that. And coming to demographics, demographics, demographics is nothing but this is the statistics related to the statistics of any particular area. Here the area is uh, age, income and etc uh, etc et of the customers. So here you can only go with the second one, demographics in the sense all the information about the customers. Next, the company's dash is to provide high quality educational services. Now the company's machine, the company's mission. What is this machine? What is this mission? Mission M-I-S-S-I-O-N is goal. And M-A-C-H-I-N-E machine is uh, the tool, tools, anything that is used to produce some other thing. Usually used in the companies, okay? Industrial companies. Now the company's dash is to provide high quality educational services. We are referring to the educational services, not to something which is mechanical. So the correct answer is mission. That means the company's goal. <clears throat> Next one. A white paper is an dash document. Authoritative document. Authentic document. Authoritative in the sense the meaning comes as dominant. And authentic in the sense it can be given with the meaning of original or real or factual multiple meanings could be there okay so white paper is an dash document so which of this can be used here white paper cannot can never be a dominant thing it can be an original thing that means people trust those type of white paper documents right next moving to the fifth one look at the fifth one dash is the supply of goods a company has for sale the inversion the inventory what can be the meaning of inversion what can be the meaning of inventory see inversion is nothing but which comes with the meaning of reverse inventory is nothing but uh, we refer it to the goods which is like you know stock um, of something stock of an item at particular location it can be used with a different case inventory in the sense where everything all the goods are stored now the dash is a supply of goods a company has for sale inversion is a supply of goods a company has for sale 
inventory is the supply of goods a company has for sale now we are referring to the sale of the items we are not speaking about the stock so what can be used here only inversion that means a reverse supply or reverse selling can be used next one can we go to reverse inversion see this is already about supply of goods right this is already about supply of goods let me correct the answer here we cannot go with inversion here you have to go with inventory only because let me tell you this dash is the supply of goods a company has for sale now inventory is a group of all items which is also the supply of goods in a company which is used for sale so i think you may have to go with inventory only so the inversion comes as reverse this is nowhere related to supply of goods okay that is good we have cross checked next when something is on one's radar it means that the person is a pilot a person is aware of something this st is nothing but something someone is this is under someone's radar what do you mean by someone's radar that means somebody is observing it very carefully it is not about pilot it is being aware of something next to hammer out a deal is to dash a deal to hammer out a deal is to get to the deal successfully that is called as to reach the deal not come across come across in the sense just see and go reach the deal in the sense to deal it completely with success next to accept the first offer is to accept the dash look at this initial bid first bidding which one can be used here official word must be there formal word to accept the first offer is called as initial bid if the first offer is accepted that is called as initial bid next one if <clears throat> if talks are at a standstill standstill in, in the sense talks are held but um, you know they are in a pause without any further uh, you know change without any further movement it means there is dash there is no danger there is no progress the talks are standstill in the sense nobody is discussing about the talks there is no improvement in the talks okay so what can be used here we are not referring to danger here we are referring to that there is no progress next if we take ownership of a task it means you are dash you are responsible for it you are at risk that means when you are owner of something that means you have to feel it as responsibility right you never feel it as though you are at risk next one in corporate jargon dash mean things that have to be done things that have to be done are called as what this is jargon jargon in the sense uh, language which is used in only one particular place for example in corporate that means in corporate companies you would come across certain uh, group of vocabulary which is called as jargon okay in the same way for example if you go to if you want to check the medicine students um, you know they have one particular set of um, uh, jargon that means the group of words which is not used in any other sector so that is called as jargon now in corporate jargon dash mean things that have to be done what are they called as action items are called as the things that have to be still done okay next if you pay dash <clears throat> it means you pay in advance if you pay at the front if you pay if you pay up front which of these two can be used see up front is nothing but it comes as the meaning of frank frankness at the front in the sense before in hand before in hand if you pay that means you are paying in advance next if everyone is dash it means that they all agree to the proposal if everyone is on the board on board on board is related to the <clears throat> boarding of the flights boarding of the trains now on the board is nothing but that means everybody is agreeing with this okay next to get the call is to start something to get sorry to get the ball to get the ball going to get the ball rolling is to start something get the ball is to start get the ball rolling in the sense continue something for example instead of start if at all continue is given then we may have to uh, change our option okay 
so it is only about starting starting is to get the ball going next dash is one who supplies goods vendor vandal vandalization or vandal vandal is nothing but you know uh, damaging damaging property and all that is called as vandalization vendor is a person who sells the items who supplies the goods so here you can use vendor right next let us move to access to this is access to now here we have totally 15 sentences again and you have to opt a proper option for each of these sentences okay now look at the first one a group of associated television or radio channels that, that means this is association of television or radio channels this is all together is called as what that is all together called as what what can you use here you can call it as a network okay that is uh, association or group of all these uh, television channels or radio channels next a photographer who follows celebrities in order to photograph them and sell the pictures to newspapers or magazines okay so some people would say he is uh, just like a you know <clears throat> freelance photographer okay so he is called as what he is called as paparazzi paparazzi is a person who is uh, the person who simply takes the pictures and sells them to the newspaper somehow next the term used to describe sensational news reporting that is called as yellow journalism sensational okay like like hot hot news next a radio or television program where listeners or viewers telephone the studio and participate in the program it is just like you know in some of the channels uh, people they call the channels and ask them uh, for the you know songs or dances that they like so what is it called as that is called as phone in program okay that is i next we are moving to the next one a recurring piece or article in a newspaper or magazine a recurring piece <clears throat> of a newspaper or recurring piece of an article or an article in a newspaper or a magazine that is called as column okay so any column newspaper columns we say right so small piece of article or small piece of writing is called as column that you can use as j next one the use of detective like reporting methods to unearth the scandals scandals in the sense scams if anybody is doing any report just like uh, you know uh, investigative uh, type of uh, reporting that is called as investigative journalism you know investigative journalists would be there right so that is this one so that you can go with the o next a serial television or radio drama dealing with daily events in the lives of the same group of characters for example i'll just give you a very simple example for this this is nothing but <coughs> like a big boss show okay so it is just like a daily program with the same characters who are on the screen so they are called as what so here we have it on the screen so they are called as can anybody guess the answer that is called as the program is called as soap opera okay next one a serial television or radio drama dealing with the daily characters that we have just now seen okay that you can go with the meaning of h next a shot a so shot of person's face you know a shot shot is the term used for the um you know in the cinematic field when a shot is taken okay when action is going on a shot of person's face taking directly to the camera that type of shot is called what type of shot look at the options given okay they are like they are called as what type of shots look at the remaining ones try to guess the answer before i could give you the answer the type of uh, shots are called as talking heads okay we can go with that next yeah here we go that is l next a television or radio program in which stars and celebrities are invited to talk <clears throat> informally about various topics so in uh, this is a talk which is informal talk 
that is called as what here that is called as a talk show where the celebrities are uh, you know just like we can call it as a the kapil sharma show okay you know the kapil sharma show right yeah that one so that you can go with e next tenth one an article presenting the opinion of the editors or publishers what is it called as any article that is the opinion of editors or publishers okay that is called as an editorial okay that is an official one okay next <clears throat> so here you can go with the d a comedy program based on everyday experiences daily experiences comedy program so uh, what do we have do we have any type of yeah we can go with the sense of jabardas where most of the skits are with the everyday experiences they are called as sitcom okay any program that is based on everyday experiences so that is specially a comedy program you can go with uh, b next commercial promotion of an of a product or service what is it called as commercial promotion commercial promotion is nothing but uh, it is called as an advert advert is nothing but advertisement okay so here you can go with the uh, c next information leak to determine what the political reaction would be <clears throat> sometimes one party re uh, you know releases an information to find out how the opposite party would react so they are called as trial balloons trial balloons are the ones which are used to test test okay they are not really balloons but they are the ideas which are used to test the opposite person's intentions next one so this uh, for the 13 one you can go with the m next a small printed notice on our an advertisement what is it called as small piece of notice or advertisement is called as flyer next one the last one the dissemin uh, the dissemination of information aimed at influencing the opinions or behaviors of large numbers of people so any information or any news that is usually said into the public said to the public where uh, the public behavior or the public opinion could change that type of thing is called as propaganda which is spreaded into the society nowadays in a huge and wide manner right so these are the technical vocabulary which we have we have we have only two exercises in this and in the next video we will go through the reported speech so if you are the first viewer to our channel please do subscribe and also if you like the video please do hit the like button and also share these videos with your friends thank you for watching see you on in the next video